Welcome back to On the Branch. Welcome back. Today we're talking about furries. Oh yeah. Not not something you would know anything about, is it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it is. What would it matter? <laughs> so uh, it's it's kind of interesting. Oh, Ten oh. years ago, um, maybe a little more, fifteen years ago, if you called someone a furry, that was like the biggest joke. You were you like it was okay to be a jerk about furries. You know what I mean? Like you could make fun of a furry, and you were being the biggest. Like, you were the height of comedy there. Nobody questioned it. And today, you're just kind of being a dick. Yeah. Like, well, it's like it's the most harmless thing ever. Like, for some people it's a kink, and for some people it's not. Some people just like to go around, uh, I guess not really identifying, because that's an un- other kind that identifies as the thing. Yeah. It's more like a, it's, it's more like an alternate persona the person likes to... Well, I mean, the way it is for me is, it's not like a way of life or anything. It's just the... Uh... It's like an artistic style that you like, right? I mean, right. And, and it's it's like for me, it's you know, why would you make fun of just someone's you know? It's not really yeah. even preference in that case, but just like a thing they enjoy. Like that's that. that, that I mean, that is that's it's literally basically just like, making fun of someone for a hobby. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I think it's funny that in fifteen years it, it's gone from something where we made fun of them. You know, the assumption was it was a hundred percent. I know when I was a teenager, I'm like, oh, well, these. These goofy furries and their their weird sex things. And as an adult now, I'm like, huh? Uh, I have a goofy sex thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I have plenty of kinks, right? We all do. Exactly. But but not just that. It was. It's also a. Uh, why did I think this was weird or strange? Like, I mean, I I grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog and Star Fox. Like, we were. I'm surprised I didn't become a furry, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> Like, all the ingredients were there. Exactly. One, I mean, that's how it starts for a lot of people, too. Corneria is basically a furry planet, isn't it? Yeah, essentially. Planet of the furs. It, it is a lot of uh, animal-like people. Oh, so. do you gotta hack that one, or nope. just, just avoid it? I'm, I'm mainly just looking for, like, the gold rings at this point. That is a weird robot bird. What is going on here? I yeah. feel like we are crossing oh, oh, over. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh ow, 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 ow. Right? Can, can, you, can, you, can you please? <laughs> That seems to be really punishing. I'm just gonna hold you there. Well, it didn't actually do a lot of damage, though, if you look. Well, right, but something else could have hit you while you, you know, that yeah, little true. thing that pops out of the water. Oh, there's your next waypoint. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like I said, I'm looking for the gold rings and stuff. Not not necessarily just the way forward. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I wonder okay. what ha- Is it game over when you get spotted? Is uh, this... I doubt it. I think it probably just sends, like, a bunch of dudes after you. Is this but... Metal Gear Star Fox after all? Maybe. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to deal with controls. They're we, a little, uh... We've got to be close to the end of the level, right? With, oh, with yeah. How... Well, I mean, it's it's just the two shield generators, but... Oh, there's another Actually, bird. Gotta shoot yeah. him down. Avoid his thing. You probably gotta, like, barrel roll. Can yeah. you barrel roll? No, I can't. I, I, in fact, cannot barrel roll. He just goes down in flames! Dang! Jeez! That's a little violent if it was, uh... wasn't a robot, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. That green sludgy water looks delicious. Yeah, right? Alright. Actually, so, have you ever been at a lake that was just filled with algae and the water was... I, I guess it's a little clearer than that, but you know what I'm talking about? Have yeah, you ever, yeah, um, I do know I've, what you mean. I've been swimming in lakes like that before as a kid, and it's so strange to me that I loved it. Mm-hmm. As an adult, I'd be like, no, it's it's green. I don't I don't want to get in that water. Yeah, exactly. That but looks why, like why something's wrong with it. But, you know, it's it's just algae, right? It's just green plant matter. I guess yeah. some algae is bad for you, right? Like well, I mean, the, well, there's black algae, for example, which, you know, again, is is not entirely the best thing for you, but... Okay, where, where do you got to drop this well, off? Well, I was going to drop it on, like, one of these things, just and to, like, blow it up. Does but... it blow them up? Except they're all protected know. under eaves, so you can't do that. Oh, actually, yeah, so I do want to blow that one up. Oh, you gotta, like, fly it into it. Yeah, that's, that's what I was gonna do. Is that what they're telling you you gotta do? Maybe. We'll uh, ah, hey, good job. I did the Poor thing. Poor Ron is indestructible, isn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. He was right next to that explosion. Didn't give a fuck, though. Oh, that's a cool boat. Wait, cool boat, bro. Kind of reminds me of the, like, Star Fox 64 boss. Yeah, I, remember, I like, think the, the submarine. Yeah, a lot of the art in this game is clearly meant to make you harken back to Star Fox 64. I and I, and I'm more than okay with that, by I, the way. I see those goggles, and I think of Johnny Five. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you see the resemblance there. 
Not particular, by the way, but... Oh, actually, you know, this one rotates, so let's go ahead and handle that real fast. Again, from a few days ago, this game is very much meant to pander to our nostalgia. And, you know, again, I wish they would do more. I would love well, to yeah, see full... Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, if they're if they're going to make a full 3D remake of a game, I'm I'm like, let's, let's go, like, old, old classic games. Let's do Zelda 1, like, reinterpreted yeah. in 3D. Well, or on, sorry, Zelda well, two. All, uh, well, that's why I say reinterpret it. Like you wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't just redo the graphics. You would have to completely redesign the game. Just yeah. use a lot of those concepts and boss concepts. I was gonna say. Well, I mean, if anything, they do. I mean, that. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. I'm uh, a little too high there. Um, I guess on that regard, like when you mentioned remaking, I guess Zelda one. Uh, have you seen like the VR stuff on that? I have not. Has someone oh, done a good VR? There's there's some pretty cool stuff on that. I, I I'm say. glad you brought up VR because a lot of games I feel that are really that are really ripe for remakes uh-huh. or sequels are super ripe now. Like if we were to do top fives or top tens, okay. Like what? So, like well, well, so well, Mech Warrior, Mech Warrior in VR would be amazing. It would, yes. Uh, especially with the slow plottiness. It, it, part of the problem with these games as they've aged is. Since most of them are PC games, at least the ones that I would like to see if yeah. they made, they are super incompatible. They crash constantly. It's hard to play them. Or uh, another one of them that I would really love to see remade is the X-Wing, TIE Fighter, you know, that mm. series of games. That if you cool. try to play those with a modern joystick, it's almost impossible to line everything and sync everything up. It's oh, hours yeah. of work for a game that will crash every ten minutes of play because oh, it's just not going to run stably on a modern PC. Oh. Nope. It didn't work. Okay. Not what you were trying to do. Well, I, I, well, you know, I was trying to see if I could actually blow it up, but I was also mainly just opening up that path real fast. So, so yeah, things like the Oculus and the Vive, um, I really wish gear was a little bit smarter designed. I wish they had enough input-output off of oh, modern Samsung not. phones that you could just buy the gear thing and it it worked the same way as a Vive or an Oculus, yeah. where, where it's just a co-processor for your PC. That and could be most cool. Of the, I mean, most of the work is still being done by your PC's video card uh, and, and processor. It is kind of strange that it's not, I guess. The, yeah. You, but the, it, first, is, it is basically, it's entirely peripheral. Uh, it's it's completely self-contained, the, yeah. the Gear VR. And, and that makes me really sad, because to me, I'm like, oh, that could be a $100, $200 alternative that could also reduce the requirements. So instead of having the highest end video card to be able to play these games, you could go down a step or two because you've got a powerful yeah. computer right there on your phone that. that can help with these things. So it's it's just surprising, especially with the the upcoming uh, the Note Six. Ow. Actually, <laughs> so funny seeing Rob run back and forth while you're getting shot at. Yeah, you know we're we're gonna handle that guy. I'm done dealing with this shit. Where is he? Oh, he's going up and down the wall. Asshole. Wow, those beams look very Star Wars Episode One, don't they? Yeah, they, well, they look very dangerous as a whole. <laughs> and I bet there's one on the side too. But yeah, speak, speaking of games that need to be remade, uh, I guess my top two are definitely the X-wing so, so you would say Sims Mech Warrior and, and Mech Warrior yeah. because they're super ripe for it now that we have the new tech of of high end VR because VR has been around for forever. I remember playing. I think it was Doom One or Doom Two on VR. Well, I mean, there's, there's like always the demo. there's always the god awful like Virtual Boy. It wasn't well. That's the thing is there were old systems that were VR. They just weren't very good. Yeah, I really wish Nintendo would put together a VR, but they're so shy about it because of the Virtual Boy. Uh, yeah. I really do. But does sus- that not open it? I yeah. do suspect they have been wanting to do it for a long time, and they're just super afraid of repeating that mistake. And, Possibly. And now they're probably not going to get back into it until it's a mature technology. Yeah, which, I mean, I, I'm okay with and I respect, you know, I'm not personally a fan of the very early adoption of stuff like that. Um, like, for me, new consoles, for example, I would never buy one until it's at least... Six months old. Until yeah. you know the failure rate. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I, I tend to buy on the low end and, okay. and adopt late, partly because I don't have a lot of money, but oh, even then okay. I've, I've got other things to do. Um, I, you know, I, I can't see spend. I don't like being the risk taker. Yeah. And when you're on the new end of things, if you're buying the HD DVD player when it's new, 
you're the you might run the risk of buying the HD DVD player yeah, versus that's true. buying the buying the Blu-ray player. I could um, see that, yeah. When oh, you, oh, whoops, I'll start. When you buy the highest end computer equipment, you're mm-hmm. getting a lot less for your dollar. You know, if if say say you wanted to buy every five years, just go and buy the most expensive yeah. computer you can. I like the design of her ship, by the way. I'm just tossing that out there real fast. Yeah. You could instead, every two years, upgrade your computer, and when you upgrade your, your computer two years later, mm-hmm. you could do it with that same equipment that you would have two years earlier for less than half the price. That's about half the price now, the way computer parts are going. But you know what I mean. Yeah, just, yeah. Just buying top end, buying new is is awful. You know, if you buy an OLED TV today, you've got a high chance of it risking burn in. A lot yeah, of t- that that is kind of a weird thing. It's it's a very strange risk reward without much oh, of the Oh, did you reward. fail? Did you knock no, it out in time? I got oh, out. okay, good. We we got out. I was gonna say like the I had, I had over a, I had over a minute left or so. I better have gotten out. All right. Well, uh, we'll talk more about emerging tech, or we won't because it's a boring topic. Next time. We'll, we'll figure it out. But next time? Next time on the branch? We should let this play out, huh? Yeah. Look at this beautiful cutscene. It's over.